Hi besties, it's me, and I'm not naked, I have got trousers on, but if you wanted to know a little sneak peek, uh, today I'm filming the intro and the outro of two videos. One is the check-in, which is going to be on Wednesday, which you would have seen, and the other is the cash stuffing, which is Friday. So I'm just putting on a new shirt because I do it all in one go. The intros though, I don't film the videos all in one go, um, but yeah, I'm filming both of them now so that I've got them so that I don't have to worry about it so just filmed the intro and the outro for the check-in and now I'm filming it for the cash stuff in so yeah looking good today besties I have woke up at 11 o'clock then I went downstairs chatted with Jake for a bit and within two hours I was already asleep on the sofa and I had a two-hour nap so Today has not gone very well and I'm starting to sort of understand that my weekend, I'm never going to get a full day off. I'm always going to work. However, I'm going to sort of like do bits of work on both days. So it's never going to be like a full day, but I'll be sort of editing a video and catching up on this and doing this and doing that. So yeah, I've got that sort of stuff to do today. So um, I have done that. I am going to edit for a little bit and then I'm going to print orders ready for Monday morning. The thing I do need to do is I need to pick up the phone to Yasmin because she's much more experienced with me um, with this sort of stuff than me. Um, I need to invoice HelloFresh and send them some like analytics and stuff like that. So I'm going to do that this evening if I can get hold of her. But if not, that can wait till Monday. Uh, and that's about it. Um, I'm going to probably have pizza tonight um, because I'm going to check in in a bit. So I'm going to do that. But um, yeah, today's not going to be a, a, a terribly interesting day on the vlog. But I have had some deliveries and I'm not sure what they are. So I'll open them with you in a sec. But um, yeah, I, I think the real magic happens Monday to Friday vlog wise. But anyway, happy Sunday. So I'm pretty sure I know what this is and I'm hoping it's a replacement for something but I'm not going to hold my breath because it could be anything. I did get March's budget booklets delivered today and bestie, they are stunning. We've gone with a different supplier this time because the price has increased and I am over the moon with how they look. But anyway, let's take a look at these, see if they are what I thought they are. And... <laughs> Here they are. I was running seriously low on these. So I'm just going to go ahead and restock these. Absolute banging beauties. Okay, I'm all set up for tomorrow. Here are some of the cash envelopes that I'm making tomorrow. Here's some zippers. I still need to cut out the vinyl. We've got strips here. There's a lot going on tomorrow, but that's really, really good. Tomorrow I wanna to work on a couple of bits. I've got my list in front of me here. Uh, I do need to sort out the bits and bobs with HelloFresh because I didn't do that today. So they need me to send them the stats and I'm not sure what stats they mean. So I'll ask them to clarify. It's like my first sort of thing. So I'm sure they'll be okay. Uh, and then I need to invoice them for what we agreed that they pay me to do the adverts for them. So that's gonna be really, really cool. I have got down on my list to order some more cash trays, but I don't think I'm gonna have enough money because this week was, it was a busy week, but I've had to refund probably about 400 pounds worth of orders because of the international royal mail issue so it's not going to be a big money week for me um which is fine because i have had some bumper 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 weeks this 
month. So I'm okay money wise. Um, it just means I can't invest too much into the business. So I have already purchased stickers <laughs> for something that I'm bringing out. So this is like secret project number, should we say seven? So secret project seven. So um, I paid for them just now. So I owe myself money. Um, and they'll probably come towards the end of the week. So you should see me unbox them in this vlog. If not, they'll be in the next week's vlog, but they are super exciting. I don't want to tell you what they are because I don't want um, people to get really excited about them and then just not be able to buy them. So if they arrive this week, then we'll do that. That's cool. Um, there's also something else that I really, really want to do. So I want to try and not need anything from Amazon from the business. So I just got a big bunch of uh, laminating pouches arrive and I've got enough envelopes. Have I? Yeah, I've got enough envelopes. Um, so I'm trying to run it really, really lean because what I want to do is I want to design um, the new leaflet, the flyer that goes with it, because we've got maybe maybe 200 left, so that will go really soon. And I've got an idea because I want to do something different and everybody gives out like an A6 flyer as their thank you card. And I want to do something different. I want to do something special. So for me, this is exciting. So I'm going to do it. It won't cost me too much more. So I'm going to do that. I want to trial a sale for awesome merch. So do you remember a while ago, I was talking about a uh, company that went into administration. I had loads of orders still stuck with them. They did eventually get them to me, but there was one order that was about 30 quid that they were like, nah, sorry, you can't have it. Um, so that rubbed me the wrong way, but they seem to be under new ownership and it is the cheapest way for me to get replacement wildcard cards. I'm gonna do a test order, I think, with them. And if it works out okay, then I will do a wildcard order because that will be a couple of hundred pounds. Um, I'll do that with them. And also I want to design something else, which <laughs> is part of something else. So I won't talk, tell you about that, but like there's going to be a lot of design work that I need to do tomorrow. Also, I get paid tomorrow and that's my final paycheck of February's pay. So when that comes in, I'll know what my budget's going to be and I'll be able to go and draw out the money for cash stuffing. And I need to do that before Friday because that's when the video comes out. So if I can get to the bank tomorrow, that would be nice. But I don't need to rush myself because like orders have been quite low. So like I'm only doing like 18 orders tomorrow and then Tuesday I'll do US orders and they're not going anywhere. So they're not even in any rush. My phone just exposed me. <laughs> I don't have a stand in here. Um, so yeah, so that is basically where we're at. Um, so a bit to do, but not masses. So I'm going to go to bed. Um, but what I want to do before I do go to bed is I want to say a massive welcome to two new patrons. So one came on a Sunday and one came yesterday, but obviously I was editing and I wasn't vlogging that day. So I need to say hello to them. Massive welcome to Rosie and a massive welcome to Tia. Thank you so much for supporting me. And I've said it in the last video, but I just want to say again, thank you for the patrons who are sticking with me because it it means the world. I know that everything isn't perfect all the time, but I'm learning as I go. I've been doing this for less than a year. Well, just over a year, but like Patreon hasn't really been a thing for me for a very long time. So I'm trying to be better all the time and trying not to run myself ragged. So thank you so much for everybody who sticks with me uh, when they financially are able to. Like... It means it means so much. But anyway, tomorrow is a new day. Tomorrow is going to be a brilliant day. And I will see you tomorrow, bestie.
Besties, how nice is this? I've tidied up my wall over here. I'm not gonna zoom in because I don't wanna ruin anything. Basically, what I've got is I've got my Christmas stuff up there with the like extra cards. This you don't know about. Those are some of the mini savings challenges. This you don't know about. These are the last remaining cash trays. We've got some envelope challenges. We've got the we've got a couple of binders there stickers some dice challenges we've got saving challenge volume one some bits and bobs the debt booklet all of the pads there we've got february stuff there saving challenge volume two all of my weekly and monthly budget booklets and the budget planners which i've got left so yeah it's looking really really good besties so i do need to cut out some bits and bobs but before i do that i'm gonna um stop for a bit and have a bit of lunch with well, like dinner with Jake, and then I'll get back to it later on.
Hi bestie, how's it going? I felt worse if anything yesterday, but I'm feeling better today. I've had quite, actually quite a good day today. So this morning we cracked on with orders. There wasn't like a, a massive amount of orders to do anyway, but we did crack on with them. Uh, and then we were done by sort of lunchtime, about sort of one o'clock. Um, all the orders were done and dusted so we went in to town and i was with my sister-in-law and because of that we went into like loads of fabric shops and stuff like that it's not sort of the thing that i'd normally go into but i was absolutely mesmerized by all of the bolts of fabric and the ribbons and stuff like that and it makes me think oh maybe i could sew but i know i never would <laughs> that's not me uh, and then we went to uh, a really old fish and chip shop and I had a massive plate of chips and a pea fritter which is just so wonderful and then we went through the market and there's this like secondhand toy shop in the market um, sometimes and they I always have a look to see if there's a pink Power Ranger and there was two so I got them for a quid each and I love them I just need to find them a home and the whole reason why I went into town was so that I could draw out some money for my cash stuffing which I'm gonna go and film now so I best roll my sleeves up um, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that now that's gonna be out on Friday so obviously you would have seen that before you see this video but yeah I do need to crack on and do that
<laughs> Next. They got a sing along for everything, Jake. How about Moana? Hi besties, so I've just got a big shipment from uh, the sticker shop and uh, that I use and they're all in here, but I just wanted to quickly show them to you. I am going to be showing them on next Wednesday's video and I'll probably show them on tonight's live as well. By the way, I have nothing to make for tonight's live, like everything's really, really up to date. So I'm not making anything for tonight's live. So we're just doing a bit of a chit chat. So it'd be nice. But let me show you these. So this is three different sticker packs that I've made uh, and they are designed to be used with the budget planner, but they will work for the monthly booklet as well and the weekly booklet um, but they're just slightly shorter so they fit into the budget planner perfectly but this is the first one so this is US TV one and you've got 12 of each so you've got Amazon Prime, Netflix, Disney Plus, Hulu, HBO and Apple TV. Um, the reason why you have 12 is because you usually get one payment every month so these should last you a whole year. Now the UK one is the basically the same. You've got Amazon Prime, Netflix, Disney Plus, Sky, Now TV and TV Plus. Now I don't imagine that you'll be using every sticker in this but it's just a like a nice sticker to use in your expense tracking when you're doing every month. So I'll be using this one. This one gets covered by the business. This one we steal from our Jake's little brother. This one uh, I will be using but those two I won't. But like you won't always be using them but they're going to be really reasonably priced. We've also got this one for subscriptions. So if you've got a YouTube, Spotify, Costco, Apple Music, HelloFresh or Budget with Ira subscription, then these will work really, really nice when the money comes out. So yeah, these are available on my Etsy store now or hopefully they are now. And um, yeah, I hope you like them because if they sell well, I'll do other ones as well. So the thing I wanted to show you is all of this. This is like an abundance of stickers that are not needed and not used anymore. What I wanna kind of do is make some 
mystery bundles of all of these stickers. Now, these are designed for the weekly and the monthly book, but they will fit into, they'll just be ever so slightly perfectly sized. Do you know what I mean? They're not too big, but they're, they're just a bit uncomfortable like size wise for the budget planner but they will work really well so we've got in here we've got some february overspill we've got december we've got november we've also got loads um of older ones so we've got the rainbow one here we've got this one from may we've got june we've got october oh and we've got august here as well there's some september left over like look at that we've even got glittery ones from the advent calendar here are some january ones like there's loads and then we've got some of these as well so what i kind of want to do is build some like mystery bags so as many as I can, but I want to make them as heavy as I possibly can to make them cheap. So um, I want to sell these and get rid of them. But what I've got here is I've got this and I want to see how many can I make with all the packaging that I'd normally use? Um, how many will it take for me to put into a mystery kit to keep it 100 grams? So I'm just going to put this on. Um, obviously, they'll come with a cello. They will have a thank you and they will have a sticker oh one sticker so we're already at like a quarter of the way there so you could get one two three four let's turn this back on it's not even moving so so far four stickers five six seven eight nine ten i think ten is a good place to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scramble these up, make sure that there's unique, but these will be mystery. So you won't get two of the same, but you never know what you're going to get. So I'm just going to go ahead and make loads of kits of 10. Okay, so I managed to make 21 packs. Towards the end, there were some repeats. However, towards the end, I put like 11 or 12 in. Um, they still weigh enough to not post them very heavy. I think I'm gonna list these like tonight. Um, I'm gonna just sell them for a fiver. Uh, because if you've got like 10 or so packs in there, it works out like 50p a sheet of stickers. Like, uh, I think that's really, really reasonable. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I think a fiver is really reasonable. Um, yeah, that's what I'm doing this evening other than doing live, obviously. <laughs> How's it going? So it's currently 10 o'clock at night. I am tired. <clears throat> the plan was that I was going to go up and film all of March's budget because all of the stickers have come in now and they are trimmed and all done and dusted. But it's 10 o'clock, so I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do it tomorrow and I'm going to edit tomorrow. Well, I'm not going to edit that tomorrow. Tomorrow I need to edit the vlog, um, but I will probably do it Saturday. Tomorrow is going to be a day off. I've decided on having a self-care day. Me and my sister-in-law are going to drive to a different town. We're going to go to Ikea. We're going to do all sorts of stuff that I really, really want to do. So I'm going to do that. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. And in the evening, I will film that and edit that. And then I'll do the vlog on Saturday. That's what I'll do. Um, the one thing I do need to say is a massive welcome to a new patron. Welcome to Kirsty Ann. Thank you so much. And what I also want to say is thank you to everybody. I have been feeling really down recently. I know you know that. And I try to not talk about it as much. But 
I, uh, this live today has really made me feel tons better. So thank you so much for being there for me, Bestie. Anyway, I'm going to go to bed and I will see you tomorrow for my day of fun. How's it going? Um, I haven't actually spoke to you today because today I decided that I was going to have a day off and I had just such a wonderful day. We ended up, me and my sister-in-law went to go to the town that my niece is studying at uni in. We went into the city, we bought a load of stuff. I did take money with me. So I took all of the money out of my saved Oku, which was 115 pounds, and all of the money out of my Relax 2, which was 95 pounds. So I took 210 pounds with me, and I know it wasn't necessarily spending for clothing or whatever Relax 2 was. I think it was like high value tech. I just wanted a day to be frivolous and have fun. And honestly, I had a fuck the budget day and I really, really needed it. And it was really, really about self-care, buying things that excited me. I've got this new t-shirt, I've got a big hoodie, like I've got stuff that makes me really, really excited. I bought stuff for the business as well, out of my own personal money, just stuff that the business can't really afford. Like I bought myself a chair from Ikea. Um, yeah, I just just wanted to do that and you know I, I do feel good about it like I feel okay about spending that money even though it wasn't on what it was intended for it's made me feel really really good I was able to get my niece other niece uh, a birthday present as well because it's her birthday on Monday and I didn't really know where I was gonna get the money for for that because I hadn't really planned that out either but yeah I am feeling a ton better now I do want to talk to you about something and it's not that deep but I want to talk to you about the future of vlogs. So I've been kind of not enjoying making vlogs for quite a while now. I really enjoy the part where it's done and I'm able to engage with you on a Sunday like that's my favourite part but actually documenting every piece of my life really has started to take a toll and I'm just not enjoying it. I'm trying to grow this channel to make it the best that it can be and this channel is supposed to be about the budget and I really feel like doing vlogs as often as we are it is distracting from what the purpose of this channel is because the vlog is about me and my business but that's not what I want the channel to be about. The channel will 
should be and for me the thing that makes me excited about it is the channel is about budgeting and helping people to budget and realize that cash stuffing might work for them and saving up for their future might be a good thing that that's what it's about and i feel like the vlog doesn't encompass that message so eventually and i'm talking four to five weeks time we are going to be not doing a weekly vlog now we will do maybe a monthly vlog maybe a vlog every now and then but i've got something really really exciting coming on sundays that will be serialized and it's more of a serious thing um and i'm really excited about it so i think it will help the channel grow and i think it will still be really really entertaining so think of the videos where I bought yellow sticker items. Think about the challenges that I've done. So it's going to be that sort of thing in that sort of vein. And I'm really excited about it. And the fact that I'm getting excited about it is a really, really good thing because filming every day for the vlog is such a huge thing. And the whole process of having to take time out of my day and like losing a day to editing it it's just not the tea anymore like as i said the fun part is engaging with you and i get to do that on my lives every tuesday and thursday so i don't see much benefit to either myself personally or to the channel um to continue doing it so uh respectfully i will decrease significantly the amount of vlogs now don't worry we've got vlogs coming in and i will give you a bit of a countdown when i have a bit of a timeline on everything that's happening so don't necessarily worry about that but i i do feel like the majority of people that are here are on this channel aren't necessarily here for vlogs um, they're here for the budgeting and the stuff like that so I, I think most people are going to be cool with it and if you are really upset about the vlogs don't worry they're not going entirely they're just not going to be a weekly thing if you like the vlogs it's because you like me and if you like me you'll respect the fact that i just don't want to do them anymore because they don't make me happy anymore and i know everything seems final and it, it like for me it feels sad to say that i'm going to sort of close this chapter on budget with ira but if we want to be as big as I have the ambition to do that, then it just needs to happen. And it's something that I am just beyond thrilled about, like if I'm really, really honest. So yeah, anyway, um, I am gonna close this vlog here today. Um, I've done so much today. I, I've done so much this week. And like, again, it's one of those things that the vlog is tricky because I'm doing stuff that's so far in advance. I can't show you the, you know, the March budget that I planned. I can't show you the stuff that I really, really want to. So I think the, the bittersweet part of the vlog is going to go. So it's really, really you know i think it's going to be a good thing but anyway we are at the end of today's video thank you so much for getting through to the end of the video you know i love it when you get through to the end of the video please give this video some love make sure you like comment share and subscribe and if you are going to comment please use this emoji a load of people have been using my monzo referral link in my videos i'm starting to really reap a bit of benefit from it so if you don't know about it if you are in the uk a monzo is a incredible account where you can digitally stuff money so it's a bit like Hyperjar uh, and some people it really really works for. I have heard American people use this as well and I think um, it, the referral link works as well. In the description of all my videos there's a link for Monzo. If you sign up to Monzo uh, using that link and if you spend your first penny I think you will get a fiver and so will I and basically what you can do is buy something for a fiver on it and you get it for free bestie it's a no-brainer and then you can play around with the added benefits of monzo which can be really good for you it is literally a bank account so you're not affecting your credit or anything like that so it's definitely worthwhile take a look at the t's and c's take a look see if it's the right thing for you because at the moment it's free money bestie why the heck not thank you so much for being here for me thank you so much for understanding the news that i've had to give you and i know for some people it might be sad but i think we're gonna really appreciate this sort of probably monthly vlog like even more so if you love the vlogs monthly vlogs are going to be back in their state an extra special thank you to all the patrons who support me because that means the world to me i'm getting ready to do my patreon cash stuffing after the first of 
February, so that's going to be super, super fun. I'm really, really excited to share that with you. If you would like to become a patron, please take a look at the link in the description. You will not regret it, bestie. So that is all I have for this week, and I'm sorry again that this vlog has been a bit different. I've just, you know the sort of mood I've been in. Well, I, I don't say mood. I, I think you know the sort of headspace I've been in this week and it's getting better and I'm feeling better but I just don't feel like sharing at the moment so it makes it really tough when I have the job that I have but besties you know I love you and thank you so much for being here until I see you next week on the vlog I would like you to have a wonderful day have a wonderful week and have a wonderful budget always remember don't trust Ira and I will see you in the next one bestie thank you so much for watching bye bye